starting off the marathon that I may not make it all the way through is U-Boat. Uh, we did play this for the first time on Thursday on stream. Um, it went reasonably well. I think Scumby may have pulled several pieces of hair out trying to explain things as I was going. Um, and we were eventually sunk by the RAF off of the Irish coast while attempting to help another U-boat that was probably just bombed by the same plane that then came and bombed us. So, yeah. We're going to start a new game rather than try and continue from a load game. We are going to pick U96 again though because I think the, the port's possibly the better place to start from and it's earlier in the war. Give me a few more chances to learn. Uh, right. Let's see. Leave dynamic on, we'll leave normal on, we'll leave save on. Realistic build is fine. Uh, right, I'm going to turn darker nights off. So as it says, it doesn't affect the sight range of AI. Um, other ships behave like nights would be darker. But it makes for absolutely terrible live stream when all you can see is black. So we will we will turn darker nights off purely so that people can have something to watch. Um, I will leave collision damage on. I want to get more into the manual aiming, but I'm going to leave this off so that I have the choice rather than it being forced on me. I mean, that shirt just looks like he's escaped from Gap or something. Where's one of those jackets? Yeah, there we go. Right, we will be doing the uh, the customize your officer. Anyone who donates to the charity and puts in a name that ties in with their Twitch name, I will allow them to uh, customize an officer. First come, first serve. So I believe we got three others in the ship at the moment and one on shore. Um, I will try and get the extra officer in the boat as quick as possible. Okay. Oh, we got, okay, we got four others. Never noticed the giant hunks of meat just hanging there before. Alright, what we got in the storeroom? Can we get those shells up to the deck gun, please? So they're not taking up my storage space. Um, we'll put you in the ventilation, so you're not taking up storage space. It's fine. Right. Exit out of there. Was brauchst du, Herr Kaloy? Go see the um the quartermastery blokey and get some more stuff. Right. Let's got a big stack of canned bread. Let's take some fruit. And uh, then ammunition. We want it's the flat gun. Let's get a nice chunk of AP ammo in the flat gun because we had good success with this stuff. I'm going to take off the star shells. I mean, we never used them. Top up on some AP rounds. Maximize the fuel. Uh, some of the torpedoes are being loaded. I might come back to here after all of that stuff because it's going to take a day and whatever to load. So these should have been loaded into the tubes by then. All right, let's just Captain check with you. No, no officers to recruit. I'm not sure if you can ever get them like that. I think you might have to actually sort of succeed at missions to get them. We'll add a couple more crew. And top up the watches, shifts, 
But if you want to call it. And go off duty while all the stuff's shifted around and loaded. Now then. Let's see. Torpedoes. See, there we go. They've all been loaded into the tubes, so we can top up with a load more now. Assuming I can afford them, of course. Now we're about to run out of money. I mean, I'll take one more. Actually, no, cancel that. Put one in the rear. Just in case we have to take that rear shot due to angling like we did in uh, Thursdays. <laughs> okay. What missions do we have? Oh. Wait one second. Headquarters. Let's get some research going. Now, I think it's a radio... A radio man we've got, or have we not got an extra officer yet? Maybe we don't have a spare officer laying around. Maybe I'm imagining that. Possibly got him from the first mission. Okay. Troll out there. Don't get an officer for it. Oh, we could go attack Portsmouth. That sounds like a horrible idea. Or we can go patrol out there. I mean, either of them give us an officer. So I think we'll start off on the easier one. Right. Check. There's some experienced people in there. Have I missed anything before we set off? So... Just going to check no one's donated before we do that. There are several people that have been keen and already given to the charity before we even started the stream, so that was good. If they show up during the thing, um, they will get their character should they wish. Uh, this going to be saying research. I don't think I've got an officer to do the research. Let me do my crew management. No, see, we haven't got a spare officer. They're all on the boat. Do the off-duty thing. BP says we got the three S: fishes, food, and fuel. So I guess away we go. So much for not being a darker night. I mean, is that brighter than we were playing the other day. It's going to be suggesting we remove one of the engineers. Alright, let's... Let's, let's, let's try that. Let's get rid of Herman. And go to headquarters. So, what have we got? Proofed toilets. Accumulators. Not quite sure what the accumulators accumulate. More replacement parts and mechanics in port. Potassium has also become available. It's a leader, though. Quite like a greater depth. So, battery capacity or improved toilets. Let's go for the improved battery. Right. The other thing that's been suggested is turning the lights to red, but I have never actually found the stupid button that changes the lights. I'm sure it's like on one of these bulkheads somewhere.
ventilation, storage room, cooking, not in there. This looks like the command room. Pump. I I don't mean the conning tower. Navigator station. Maybe I have an unlocked lighting change? Let's try first person. Up you get. It's the torpedo room, it's this way then. Table for playing cards, listening room, radio, control room, skipper's desk, navigator station, depth steer, it's periscope. Ladder. There it is. Light switch. Cool, we have to be in first person. That's going to be real handy. I mean, it's meant to improve night vision. I don't see any better. Out we go. Stella, Stella. Board one. <laughs> right, where was our patrol area then? It was over here. Chimney smoke, tiny group. Okay, let's go investigate. They're heading back the way I came. From. Afraid to just immediately within sight range. No obvious guns. Nice big British flag. Let's go. On Capitan, man the deck gun. Oh, hang on. Don't auto fire. Well, there goes the stealth. Doesn't seem to be zigzagging at all, though. Oh, yes, he is. We'd swing round. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. 
and turn off the tone compression Alright, what we got loaded? HE? I think not. Give me one of them AP shells in there. That was horribly high. Water gets in there, I'm impressed. like it. A bit more water liney. All right, how's he looking? Eh, not taking on a huge amount of water yet. Put that out soon enough. Okay, from the bottom left we can see he's probably going to leak enough now that we don't need to carry on. Now he's abandoning his ship, he's still on fire. Down it goes. I'm impressed it's still on fire given that it's, you know, underwater now, but... what you are usually up to. And we need to head back to our patrol area. Radio message. Captain. Let's translate that. Yeah, we saw the quick travel thing last time VP, but it was requesting so much food, I wasn't convinced it was actually accurate for if I'd manually sailed. It wanted like 80 food units. And we didn't even have 80 food units in the ship, but we got there and back quite happily under normal circumstances. So I've been avoiding the quick travel stuff. Right, we have information that critical technology is loaded into the freighter Culling Dock. It must be sunk at all costs. It's in a tiny group of two to four. So, do we think that means they're going to have an escort or not? Let's head them off. Come in from the front. Well, not the front, but Legen Sie den Kurs an. Zu Befehl. Legen Sie den Kurs an. Jawohl. Kurs setzen. Jawohl. Go 
Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Zu Befehl. Why is vision so bad? Ow. Horrible rainstorms. Herr Kaloy. Excellent. Okay, let's go to Periscope Depth. Why is that one a different color? Ah, Swedish flag. Okay, neutral. Alright, let's get you on the... He's on the attack periscope. Why can we not get you on the observation scope? <sighs> oh well. don't need to turn off the gyro compass but it makes a crap ton of noise You stop plotting that torpedo course. Is there a fourth ship? I think there was. That's the one we gotta sink. a couple of helpers, take them away from you and you. Add you to the calculations. Okay. Can we do this manually? Let's give this a try. So. Looks about right. What were the other bell type empire? No, it's not one of them. 
Uh, then we want... This is the... Okay. Where's the top of that mast? There-ish? So what's that set? The range. Then we need the chronometer. So what's this? Point the periscope at the front of your target. Start the chronometer, wait for the whole ship to get past the observed point, and stop the chronometer. I don't know what it's set. Their speed? Six knots seems about right. And then... I don't know how to use that one, because it says this tool cannot be used without a selected target, but he, he, he is selected. I've just assumed the course thing's correct. I mean, if that's zero degrees, that seems... Or is it relative to me? Yeah, that looks about right. Okay, let's... Uh Get the firing tubes up. What we got? Type 1. It's kind of dark. Let's go for a couple of Type 1s. Maximum speed. Got the dispersion a little bit. Okay, they're flooded. Fire! Los! 40 Sekunden bis Torpedo Einschlag. 30 Sekunden. Just a little bit. They are, yep, evacuating, abandoned, on fire. All those other fun things. Let's go hunt the rest down on the surface with the guns. Doing? Blowing the tanks. Okay. It's going to be mentioned something about green and brown helper bars. I'm guessing these, which do look slightly different, one will be green and one will be brown. No, I don't know the significance of them. Hopefully he will explain in a minute. <laughs> Setzen. 
Okay, let's get you on the deck gun and you on the flat gun. Ugh, sorry, morning hay fever. Ah, uh, apparently the radio room can only use one helper. Ah, oh, yeah, if I hover over that, that tells me that. Okay. So, I will let chat decide. Do we sink the neutral ship, or do we let him go back to tell his friends what happened? on the front. These waves are um, going to make aiming interesting, but at the same time, I assume they help flood. I know what I need to do first. Let's click that, and then we can see its health. Oh, these waves. I need to get him a help, but... Actually, those may have been brown. There we go, that one was a bit better. Got a bit of flooding and a fire out of that one. Oh, that health bar. Look at it chunking down. Put the fire out. Right, I think that should be that one done for. Where's the other ship? We're gonna get closer. We will have to go back to the other one to put it on fire. They are evacuating. <laughs> Lovely waterline shot there. Not that it seems to make too much difference.
There we go. Right, we will now take you back off of the deck gun. Give you a couple of helpers instead. Though they may not be able to. No. Don't need additional sailors there then. Captain. Once they take on a bit more water, they should start evacuating, then we can set them on fire. Let's just see if we can help them along. There we go, there's the evacuation symbol. Just need one of these things to actually cause a fire now. I mean, it's smoking. Looks like it's on fire, but there's no little fire symbol. There we go. There was no little fire symbol down in the bottom corner. Fire, please. Nope. Still nope. I mean, how that thing isn't just going to sink through flooding. There we go. Höhenbruch, sie sinken. You go back to what you're normally up to. The radio operator's gone to bed. Get on the radio. You can go to bed afterwards. Oh, they're gone. And then you can go and do what you like. Right, got a little bit more patrolling to do, and then we are done. Patrol complete. Captain. Home. Oh, research complete. Accumulators. It's 
start him on a new research. Toilets, please. Visual contact tiny group. Radio operator. Get on the radio. It could be friendly. Would go check though. Overworking them. Alright. Now we don't trust the autopilot for this. Detected the port. The horror. We're gonna we're gonna try that again. You make following some straight lines rather difficult here. Yeah, I need to drive the sub at the dock, but not into the dock, because I've got collisions turned on. Let's get some fuel. Let's get some ammunition. We're probably fine. Let's get some. Fruit. We've already got a stack of that. Some bread, because we've got candy bread, of course. Because uh, we've got a stack of that. We had potatoes in the galley, so maybe I'll take those across. Alright, torpedoes. On a couple of replacement T ones. And let's go talk to the Admiral. Beim BDU wird viel über ihre letzte Patrouillenfahrt geredet. Gute Nacht. 
Klaus has got the Iron Cross second class for contribution in sinking those three. Determined torpedo course. And then the captain is the Iron Cross second class and the Iron Cross first class. Okay, the Swedish ship was the heaviest one by... of those three anyway. Nice. Right, do we have any favours? No. Um, what's the next... What's the next missions then? 